Welcome back to King Indus with Jerry and your boy. I, I'm back for serious. I'm, 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 I'm for real now. I'm back for real. Bro. The things that I've heard in the recurrent day. Benzema versus Levy is happening in La Liga. We're going to have two of the best strikers facing it out in our class. Girl, that's going to be fantastic, bro. What I mean is Levy has signed to Barcelona. And let me tell you something about that, guys. That is a fantastic, that's the best news I could, like, ever hear. It seems like this transfer window was going to suck a bit, but we had some great transfers over the past few months. We had Don Nunez, who probably will suck. I do not know. I just know he missed that good shot against Manchester United. And I just want to ask, how do you miss against Manchester United? And of course, we had one of my favorite strikers. I'm telling you, I can say of all time, of all time, ladies and gentlemen, Erling Haaland. I love this guy, bro. I love, I actually, I'm so happy I could see him more because mostly, you know, they broadcast the Premier League mostly in my country. So technically, we're going to be watching more of Erling Haaland, and I love this play, bro. I love, I, I love Erling since 2020. He's been fantastic. Best year was 2020, 2021. The best season was 2020, 2021 season. That was fantastic. Both Champions League and domestically and just in the league. It, it was just crazy, bro. And Man City making the sign is a bit concerning because, in my opinion, our Man City is not a, what can I say, a person, a, a team, a team that kind of doesn't like a team that kind of just seems rely on strikers. Like it's a team that can actually work without a striker, which I will actually gain into in another video. Whoa! I when I heard this, bro, and now we're hearing Levy. No, no, no. Um, I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to say this is overshining the Rafinha transfer, which is fantastic, actually. But I think about Rafinha is a bit overrated. We are also getting to end the second coming of Jesus, which actually he's trying to prove that he actually deserves to be in the club and actually deserves to be in the starting lineup, which I actually appreciate for me because we've been winning preseason games all day long. And we never have done this. Like, bro, before this... We were losing so many prisons and games that even the general manager tried to even get himself sacked, bro. But, like, now we're just getting there, and it's all about Jesus. Jesus has came to Arsenal. Thank God. Thank God he came back. Second coming of Jesus. Woo! Mm -hmm. But now, then, we now hear Leve. Leve. Lewa. Levin, Robin Lewandowski. Robin Lewandowski is actually coming to the La Liga. And let me tell you something. I, I, I'm just very fascinated on how like Boston will do this because they have so many attackers right now. I just, I just think Chavi is buying too much, very too much. Like, bro, they buy a bombing last year. Wasn't it? And, bro, it's fa yeah, fam. He bought a lot of attackers. Right? And he actually has a lot of attackers like Ansu and more of others. But I was getting to another video with that. Maybe on Thursday, Friday, who the fuck is? I just want to get into the Lewa transfer. So, deal is done. Lewa has actually joined Barcelona from Bayern Munich. Which, again... Bayern Munich was a bit hesitant on letting the guy go. And who wouldn't be hesitant? It's Lewa. It's Lewa. Lewandowski. 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 Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a cold. But this is actually fantastic news for most uh, Barcelona fans. Because I'm telling you, they're celebrating like... Samba, Dijani. I'm gonna get covered. I'm gonna probably get covered. I'm probably gonna get her. I, I don't know what I said. But technically, I think this is fantastic. 
for Barcelona, but I bet it's too much because technically they do have a lot of attackers which they bought last season, which I could make an example as Fati, not Enzo. No. The man was in the team the whole time. Okay, so they bought Memphis Depay and they bought um Aubameyang and they. But yeah, they just been buying a lot of attackers for an unnecessary reason. But like also Rafinha now he's a he's actually in the team so which is kind of fantastic. But like I do think he's gonna take a lot of credibility from the youngsters, which um well it doesn't look like the case because the youngsters is full like the youngsters are just in the midfield. Like there's a lot of youngsters in the midfield which I'm actually glad of, like because Pedri and Gavi are two of my favorite midfielders. I mostly love Gavi over Pedri. Don't ask me why. He's fantastic. Gavi's better though. Mm -hmm. But technically, I can't lie. This is fantastic news. Looking, looking at the way that Barcelona wants to play this game, they have like they have a lot of desire to actually like to go far, and I'm loving that. I love that team spirit. I love that everywhere. Like that's fantastic. But yeah, it's just fantastic to see Lewa in the team, and uh, yeah, technically, I, I I don't know, like I, I I can't make my assumptions. I was just I just found this out like a day ago, like some days ago. I'm sure it was on Saturday. I found this I found this out on Saturday. Yeah, so technically, you know, that was a bust too. But like um, yeah, you know, I I'm I'm pretty happy because like. This came out of nowhere because I actually felt because I I heard that he's still staying at Bayern. Actually, some footages and some leaks were actually showing that he was actually training with the Bayern team, and then just news broke out that Lewa is going to Barcelona, which is fantastic. I can't wait to see Benzi versus Lewa. This is gonna be a fantastic, like fantastic. Because I, bro, I'm a striker. I idolize these two. I really idolize these two. Like, bro, I, I'm scoring goals. Like, it's coming from nowhere because of these two, bro. I'm loving these guys, and they're fantastic together. Like, they're both fantastic together, which is actually a very good, like, they'll be actually not fantastic together, but, like, it will be, like, the best thing since Messi and Ronaldo's rivalry. I'm just saying, because we also had hopes of Anton Vinicius. Where is that going? But technically, I'm actually excited. Lay was fantastic, bro. I love the guy. Like he's he's just someone who I who just brings a lot of good vibes to the team, and he will actually he was brings good vibes to the team. But like he now, just yeah, being in Barcelona, he needs to up his game because let's not forget Barcelona is a team which focuses heavily on good football. You know, I'm not saying that he came from a team which didn't play very good football. They actually thrashed Barcelona eight two. You know, our Barcelona fans are kind of pretty happy and pretty disappointed this happened. They will be murdering him when it comes to the Barcelona game. So definitely, just hearing this news brings a lot of joy to La Liga because uh, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Oh wait, I actually still watch. I actually like watch La Liga. It's actually fantastic. Actually. I think before the the Lewa coming, I just I just like La Liga. It was actually fantastic. I actually like the unpredictability of how this game was gonna go. Mostly with Barcelona games, which is fantastic. Actually, I I actually like the games. Chavi, Chavi, you're the man, bro. You're the man. And also Real Madrid games. They actually play very wonderful football. I'm not saying like. The football is bad. I think just people just stop watching La Liga because of Messi and Ronaldo or Messi in general because he carried the, the whole league. But I'm I'm not about this but I'm actually really happy. Like um, what about about this thing? Like I actually I actually still watch La Liga, which is which I I don't wanna lie to you. I still watch La Liga because good football. I I love the football mostly Real Madrid and um. Real Madrid and Barcelona games. They are very unpredictable. Yeah, like all games, but like you can always feel that urgency that something's gonna happen like this, bro. I, I, I always like have that feel for La Liga. It's just very compelling. It's more compelling than the Premier League, I could say, but like come on, it's the Premier League. But now Lewa being in the team for the twenty twenty three. 2023 Barcelona squad is fantastic, bro. And now just looking back at it, 
Okay, I need to make a World Cup like a uh, uh, World Cup prediction video. Just talking about this, just give you World Cup vibes. Huh? But technically, I will, I will be, I will be watching this man, bro, because he's fantastic. He's, he's, I'm just happy that I can watch two of my favorite strikers in the same. Like I can watch any time, any way, bro, because uh, they were both in the Bundesliga. And, um, the Bundesliga is not that well. With broadcast, so it was kind of awesome. What I'm trying to say, the Bundesliga is book right? but technically, I'm just like into the way that now this is going, man. I can watch Erling now. It's just that feeling of can Erling succeed and can he not? Of course, Robert is gonna succeed. Of course, Robert is gonna succeed. Of course, Robert is gonna succeed. But like you know, that's just the nervous breakdown. I I I am feeling that kind of vibe right now, and like I I I, I don't wanna feel that. So if you guys do like this video, like and subscribe, please. Ma please turn that red button. You know that red button down there? Just turn it to gray for a bit. Just just do me it. Like, do me a solid, just turn it into gray. Yeah, that's the cringiest man. But, like, um, please, guys, like and subscribe. You guys be doing fantastic. <sighs> Sorry, it's a cold. I, I'm just not feeling well today. So, like and subscribe, bro. I, bro, I'm so excited for the new season, bro. This, I think, would be better than last season, which was also fantastic. But, like, Please, guys, like and subscribe. I will be posting videos sometimes. Like, most of the time, I will. I will, actually. I, let me be honest with you. I will be posting a lot of videos on, like, every news. I was going to post on Ryan, but then, like, I thought, let me not waste my time. Because, of course, fans already know what the fuck I'm going to be reacting. Yeah, actually, I also wanted to also talk about Frankie, but again, fans were getting already gonna know what I'll be acting like. Are you just staying in the club, but like, you need to leave for United, bro. What is this? Ten now? If you get, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Five second rule.